kind of glad I didn't realize that is Lithboard sponge. Sweet. Yeah, dude, there's four tires in there. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Phil. Well, that's cool. That's really cool. That's a little bit of a difference. A little bit. Those are for when you get old. Not there yet. You're gonna have to help me with these. You're gonna put them on right away? Oh yeah, man. Yes! Seems like so much stuff. It's crazy how much it actually takes to build a bike. It's so weird to do this what? twice in a month. Once with John and now with yours. Well, it's just crazy that we, me and him both got bikes. For the first time in... 20 years. Front or back, I guess. That's the front. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a guess. I don't know if they use the same boxes. Oh, suck it. Dang. <laughs> Man, this thing's all murdered out. Rick Thorne's gonna be safe. They're super nice. Don't need that. I thought the Sunday sticker was really pop with it. In they black. definitely do. Put in the bomb bracket first. What do you think? That's an easy place to start. This thing's heavy duty. It's definitely legit and a way easier way to do it. Is that a two by four? Then you put your spacer. Then you put it through the frame. Dan always told me to sand this. That's a Dan Bricker shout out. <laughs> He's watching. He's not watching. <laughs> he does not care. Spacer. So you don't have to crank it so much. That and you, you'll hit your frame if you don't. There. It went a lot. Yep. Well, that, that time. I don't want to go nuts, right? No, it's good. How much easier was that than pounding it in there? <laughs> a lot. It was a lot easier. I'm psyched that this thing has that guard. Cause that was the one thing I was like, I never wanted to do again with ride without a guard like that. Where is your sprocket bolt? It's right in there. Oh, okay. I gave you enough spacers, look at that. Space jam. You got a mallet? Yup. Oh, it's through. There it is. Oh, but the sprocket's as far in as it'll probably go. You should be all right there. Why is it like that? Because it's not it? all the way on yet. Once you what tighten you like once you tighten the cranks all the way down, it'll straighten up. And then you put the the wedges on there. Yeah. With the uh, the thick side on the inside, so flip it around. Oh, you don't have your cone spacer. Yeah. You know what? I don't think you need that spacer in your sprocket at all. Does that go in there like that or the other way? The other side, I think. Or wait, it's the other side. I, I got two of these. Too. I can't even tell. The spindle gets bigger where the sprocket goes on those cranks. Between the crank and the sprocket. See how there's a big gap? Yeah, that. Oh, I just saw a mouse. But I think that's the spacer. I think it's built into the cranks. Oh, Building that would them. be why it was lopsided too. AKA my fault, we're taking it apart again. And you definitely want to make, oh, oh it just way. ran out the door. That's, that's on here. Yeah, like straight now. I don't think something's right. I think I, spacers need to come out. How close is it to the frame? Pretty far away. Yeah, you might be right. Mine's way closer to the frame than that. It's like a hula skirt. Not going? No. That sprocket just isn't all the way on there yet. You got more room to tighten now too, I can see it. It's just like, not all the way on there. Yeah. Oh, that's way better. That's it. Yep, all good now. I should probably make a video about how to install those things. Looks good. So close though. That's almost exactly how far mine is. Well see, that's still, can you see those things on your frame? Yeah. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to see those. That tripped me out too when I was putting them together. Never sees doesn't come off. Comes right off. <laughs> well, that's a wrap. All right, let's go ride it. It's crazy that everything has a lifetime warranty too. Need a headset? Uh, yeah. The silver thing with the slit? Yeah. You don't need that. You don't no, need you need device. the you need the other silver piece to go in the top. Stem? Stem me. Oh, you need the cap too. And some spacers, more than likely. Oh, you're definitely gonna need a spacer on there. Maybe even more. What's the stem look like? It'll be close. So you need more? Yeah, I need one more at least. Is that good? That's good. Yup. Perfect. Oh my God, that's so sketchy. I remember you took it off. Got it. 
Okay. Whew, you're solid now. <clears throat> you can put these on, right? Uh, you, not the new ones? I don't think I can do it. Oh, no, not the new ones. Hard Go. enough to put this stem on and not the challenge. Right? Something borrowed. Something new. Something chrome. How does it feel to be building a brand new bike? Horrible. No, it feels good. Hey, this is gonna be the only not black thing on my bike. <laughs> yeah. You know, as weird as it is to say this right now, those bars actually fit on that bike somehow. What do you mean? Like it looks, it doesn't look out of place. Look at it. I think I want to put my bars forward a little bit more. Anyways. Your gap's pretty close though. That looks pretty good. I have to adjust it later. I had a pair of SS profile cranks and uh, they were a full pound heavier than regular profiles. And when I first put them on, I thought like, oh my gosh, I'm, I can't do anything. But then like... An hour I, later. Yeah. And... 10 minutes later, you, you forget. You forget about it. That's the seat I wanted. Jealous. Kinda. <laughs> you ever listen to Post Malone? No. Me neither. I see him everywhere though. He's a popular guy. What would it take for you to get a seat? Seat post tattoo? clamp. A lot of money. Enough money to live the rest of my life without worrying about my face tattoo. What would you get? Eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting a tattoo once, and uh, there was like a 70-year-old woman in there getting her eyebrows tattooed. <laughs> the guy was tattooing me, and the other tattoo artist came, and he's like, Oh, I just uh, tattooed eyebrows on someone. My tattoo artist was like, Oh, which one is she? He's like, the one who looks really surprised. <laughs> Seat post clamp transplant? Yeah. I think we all have those parts that we have to take off of old bikes and put on to new bikes. Every single one of my bikes. Yeah. I have that with my bar ends and my London mod. This is the old beast. This is uh, off a GT Complete bike. Is it the last full brand new bike you had? No, <laughs> no, I had, a, I had a Haro after that. Oh, okay. So pretty close. And it was just a Complete? Yeah, it's a GT Bestwick Pro with uh, peg bosses on the forks. Wow. It's a big moment for that seat post clamp. It's been everywhere, man. Ooh, I got it right away. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good angle. Yeah, I like it. Bike's coming together good. Yeah, it is. So. What's next? I think I'll put my pedals on. Right goes to the right. Ooh, anti-seize. Almost made that critical error. Cool. What's next? <laughs> Hydrate. I think I'm gonna put the tires and tubes on. What are you putting on the front? I don't know. Um, Aching on the front? I think it just look tougher that way. And you need, you want traction in the front. Yeah. You definitely want some traction. Do you know who Howard Hughes was? Uh -uh. He was like a pilot and an inventor and like a millionaire. He made movies and stuff like okay. that. Okay. But when he was a kid, uh, probably the 1918 pandemic, now that I think of it, but he was quarantined mm -hmm. and it like messed with him for his entire life. Like uh, throughout the whole movie, he's like a recluse, himself in his room. He had like some type of, had to have some type of mental disorder too. Yeah. But he's, the whole movie is like Q-U-A-R-E-N. I -N -E. Will wash his hands until his hands bleed. This stuff. I've heard about people who are like that. It's a fantastic movie. It's a nice pump. Shout out to Park Tool. Shout out to Park Tool. Might as well just throw my peg on. Oh yeah, you got him here. There we go. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Back on the bike. Boom. On. Perfectly centered, too. We could do that old versus new bike check, even. Yeah. When it's done. 
Uh, do I need to put my brakes on first? I would put the brakes on before you put your wheel on because it's easier to get to everything. That's what I was thinking. But as far as like lining up brake pads and stuff, you definitely want the chain first. What's cool about these brakes though, is that they use a single spring in the center of the brake. So all you have to do is tighten those bolts down and make sure the spring's connected and they work. That's sweet. That's what I'm super worried about. Yeah, you don't have to worry about spring tension at all. Oh, that's nice. When's the last time you had brakes? 2001. Wow. 2002. I got a secondhand bike that had brakes and I rode at the skate park for an hour with them and then took it home and took them off. <laughs> the original reason I bought these handlebars for him was so he could ride brakes. And it's only happening five years later. It's still happening. See, this is a pro move. I've never even thought of this. Yeah. That's good stuff. Whenever I think of brake studs, I think of uh, one time Hollywood and me went to Woodward for a day and Morgan Wade was there. We were riding the Mini Mega and uh, he flip whipped it. And when he landed, he squeezed his brakes so hard that he snapped them off. That's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. I thought you were gonna just call Hollywood a brake stud. I actually had a dream about Hollywood last night or the night before. We were in a garage together and uh, I don't forget what we were doing. Something involving bikes. Working on brakes. You're preparing Probably, yeah. for this moment. Can't go wrong with these. Why? Because there's just... Why well, just like the one spring? Because no maintenance. The old ones, you would have to put like a wrench on it and there'd be a spring well, in Well, that's there. how most brakes work. And, you'd, and that was awful. Can't you get the springs wrong? Yes, because they're both different. Tell you how many times I've done that. I think it's a BMX bike. It should, should be fine. Chain? I'll grab the breaker. Oh, man. No, it won't, because we're I'm gonna do it. I don't let other people use my chain breaker. That is smart. They always get broken. Yeah, or the pin always comes back broke. And nobody ever tells you. They're just like give it back to you, and then you go to use it when you need it. So you just figure out which link needs broke and I'll do it. Man, that's a long chain. You almost have enough for two. Does that come with a master link? Oh, you know it does. Sometimes I hate chains. Oh yeah, dude, they're the worst. And by sometimes, I mean most of the time. That's why I have the keychain because you just use an Allen wrench. You break it one time. All right, should be good. It's a pretty cool master link, though. I'll just pull it together, right? If you can, with by pulling it. Yep. I think it's gonna be too tight. It's too tight. Oh no. Can you do it twice? Is it on? I don't know. <sighs> it must be. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, now it's like <laughs> way out. We well, could even take it out, the half link out now. Because, I mean, that's a lot of space and the half link would bring it up. Because the yeah. chain's gonna stretch anyways. Do you want to take the half link off now? I mean, I don't want to, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be back. Like, better? That's so much better. That's perfect, right in the middle of the dropout now. Yeah. I'm gonna go back and tighten everything down the rest of the way. Right. Wheel rotation. So this way. But right, pedals that way. Oh, never mind. So then. I flip it that way. Do people still put simple green on their rims? Yeah. Tight. And wheel rotation. Crank it. So it goes that way. I'm gonna have to start carrying tools with me. Welcome to 2020. So nice. Everything's a six. That is pretty convenient. I never noticed so that. So convenient. Headset, stem, wheels, cranks, pedals are not a seat. Wait. Pedals oh, don't have one. Have the internal thing. Sprocket bolt. This is a five. Well, that's my GT though. Yeah, pretty much everything. That's a five too. A five and a six. And I'm gonna get down, tighten everything up. Do the first bunny hop bar spin. <laughs> Hopefully, I ran in weeks. Oh, it looks so good. Ooh, my bar's. Ooh. Look how far back they are. Yeah. And you didn't put air in the back tire again. Oh. That's why it's so squishy. It's like a bike shop complete. It looks pretty good. It does look really good. Yeah, it does. Would you want to help me make a application video for Survivor? Are you ready for some uh, really good news? Yeah. You can switch that hub to left side drive. What do you mean? All we got to do is take it off and... We can switch the insides. Switch the insides? Yeah. You'll see when we take it apart. Crank it the way that it cranks. Whoa! You can do this. <laughs> oh, that is 
we'll fix that. I'm not gonna show this in depth. I'm just gonna come back when it's done. Right. No way. That's Easy pretty awesome. Fix. Easy fix. More back in action. To crank the correct direction. Ha ha! That's awesome. Good engineering on Odyssey's part. Uh, grip. Fun fact, Davy Crockett was at the Alamo. That is crazy long. That's super long. Can I just ball it up like that? You'll have to cut the outer. Cut this? The housing, yeah. How do you do that? Pull, well figure out where you'd want it first. Right about there? Now pull the housing all the way off of the inner. Just pull out on the housing. Yep, far enough that you can just take the pliers and cut that right where it's at. My cable cutters are inside or we would use the proper cable cutters. Oh no, am I cutting that thing? Definitely not, and even if you were, it wouldn't matter. Boink. Then you make sure that goes all the way onto the housing. Brakes, man. Uh, you ready for this life? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't. Boom. Now you need the hanger. When do I cut this? After you're done. If I remember right, that hooks on and the cord goes through there. Yep, I feel like you'd want it that way. I pull them like that? Yeah, it's just so you can tighten that bottom part easier. How tight do I need to make this thing? Decent, not crazy. Give her a pull. Wow, that's it? That's still super far. You almost want to pull more cable out of there. More, more of this? Yeah. Okay, I got this a lot further actually. Park tools. That is a really nice wrench. It should be a lot better oh, now. Yeah. Look at that. I dig that. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Like that? Yep. Sweet. Dude, done. it's done. You tightened everything up too already. You know what's sick? What? There's a quarter pipe right outside. <laughs> Might try to foof it. Terrifying. All in all, are you happy with it? I'm over the moon, man. This is seriously great. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Brant. Thank you, uh, Chris Markham. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody, thank you. 